Welcome. In our previous tutorial, we talked about the user interface and the general settings for projects. Before we go to this point, do know how to do project setup by watching our previous tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to import architectural building plan to product structure for structural design. So I'm going to go to file. This is my file menu. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to model, file, import. I'm going to go to reference. So this is my reference that we want to use. This dialog box comes up to the structure in which we want to design. Now, a CAD teacher here would bring you practical design. This is a structure that was emailed to me to design. It's a seven story building. And so at the last floor, we have an open roof there. So this is the building that was sent to me. It looks like an evacuation apartment. We have lift here, staircase, and some other smaller apartments in it. So we are going to design this. So I'm going to import that for to prove the structure for our structural design. So this dialog box pops up. So I want to import it with this particular dialog. It's a reference drawing setting. So the reference drawing settings has to do with the particular drawing we're trying to import to so prove a structure. So I'm going to load file, which is a DXL file. So I have the product structure, which is product structure tutorial that I have saved in my project and structural file, CAD teacher. This is where this file is being saved. Now you have to know where you have saved your particular struct, your particular architectural file in order to import it. So I'm going to say, now this box was of DSL file import options. Now this is the unit that is coming up. Now product structure is smart, so it wants you to set the unit. Now if I make it CM, I don't know if you can be using CM in a particular country, meters or whatever, but I like to make it millimeters because structural drawings are normally made in millimeters except when the project is excessively very large. Now I have this box here. It's already checked, so it's going to import both the text entities that is written that you have seen there on the particular plan. Now, this will enable me to know this is a room, this is an open space, this is what is there, this is a lift, and this is a staircase. So, I'm going to say okay, I'm fine with this. Now, you can see a drawing that is in gray that is not too visible. So, now this drawing has already been imported to make that possible in order for us to see it, I want to check this with the settings, use DXF colors. Now the colors now appear. Now the intensity is at maximum, but this drawing is not centralized. So I'm going to move that drawing by clicking this button. Now that box disappears, but it's still active. So I'm going to click on this. Now as I move this, my cursor, there's an, an X that says intersection is following it now you can just click on any part now i pull towards the center you know as i pull towards the center i'm going to click now my drawing moves towards the center now it is okay for me it is okay for me then i want to import the grid because i don't want to do any grid so i want to import the grid so i'm going to go over to member import, I'm going to check on this the axis import. Now, the axis import, now the axis I'm going to import, they're on a layer, so I want to make them, they're on the grid lines. I've titled that layer grid line, so I'm going to go there, select. Now, you can see there are so many layers that is important, but if I select this grid line, this is the only layer that is going to import into product structure. Now, every other layers is going to ignore them. So when I begin to walk, at a particular time, they will disappear. So now the text, I want the text to be read. Entities in reference drawing should be read, but I don't have entities in reference drawing, but I just want it to be read. Now, Pro Structure is going to use its own capacity to label my grids. Now, I can go back a bit, that's particular grids and all of that. Now, if you have columns, also you can import, but I don't have columns. I don't want to import columns so that my drawing will be orderly. Now when I'm done, I'm going to say OK. Now it's saying that some axes are not perfectly orthogonal. They say yes, because I have created them in AutoCAD. So I want it to be 
I will say, okay, yes, make them that to happen. So for all students, I'm going to say, yes, that I'm done that. I'm going to say, cancel. Now, you see, let me move this a little bit away. Now, in the background, now there are grids everywhere on this particular structure. Now, this is pretty smart of the structure. Now, it gives me uh, an advantage to work faster rather than beginning to insert every grid, every grid in a particular uh, each by one or all that the other. Now this pops up, then means our working that the settings will do that for it to pop up every six seconds is due. So I'm gonna say yes, save this drawing for me. So that's easy as you work for the structure is also helping you out. So that is it. So I'm done with this dialog box. So I wanna say close. I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard. So we have imported our particular architectural building we have done also the axis and we want to edit this axis to suit what we want now i can do this either way just by clicking the axis i'm going to click right click on it and go to properties now on this part now the whole of this part which is the x axis is in numerical why that of the x let me zoom in a little bit I'm going to hit escape. It's not in alphabetical. You can make this. So I'm going to make this numerical. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to type in one. And I'm going to press save changes again. And say yes. Save it. Now the axis changes to one. So it changes to one. So I can do for all of this. I can make for this one also. I'm going to make that one to become two. I'm going to type in two. And I'm going to click update. Now it's going to update to two. I'm going to turn this off again and I'm going to do like that for all or you can just open a window across all of this axis now you can do that by left clicking hold the left click mouse button down now as I pull there is this light green window color sort of that is following me now when I really I'm going to say save again I'm going to, when I release, I'm going to do that again because of that I'll save. So I'm going to do this again. So when I release, now they become red. I'm going to do that again. When I release, now it's going to become red. It means I can edit this so I can just right click on any of them. I can go to properties. Now the dialog box changes. Now these are the axes and these are all that is required. Now at this point, you can just double click on this this is two this is one now the axis are scattered so the axis are scattered so that's why you cannot do all the same time so you can do this by this is two i can make this one three i can make this one four i can make this one five i can make this one six this is my seventh one it's my seventh one. Now, when you're done with all of this, you're going to say close. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to come to this part. Yeah, click on it. Now, these are the ones I've edited. So, you can go ahead and edit the other ones also. I can do for this one also. If you want to, you can do them one after the other. Now, I can start from this part by clicking on this. Right click go to properties i want that place to be alphabetical i'm going to type in a as my alphabet first advert and click update now it is updated so i'm going to click on this now if you notice i used to close the window because each window is for it, the particular one that you have clicked so if you go to the other one it will not work let me show you that so this i'm going to put in a b here I'm going to put in a B and I'm going to say update. Now, if I click on this, now let's see, an axis has been created, which is not supposed to be so. So I'm going to close it and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to delete it because I don't want it. So I'm going to delete it. Now it goes away. Now you can do that for all of these other axes by editing them. Now it saves you a lot of time by creating this individual axis now just only edit now the beauty of this is when you edit this 
axis at this point this one also at this other side at your right hand side is also affected so that is the speed at which proto structure is working that is it guys on how to import an architectural building plan to proto structure for your structural design do subscribe to this channel and also give us a thumbs up if you like our videos see you in our next tutorial